Hello, precious family, all of my dear brothers and sisters. I hope you guys are all being blessed, and may the Lord Jesus be with you all. So I have a message to share with you guys um, that was given to us from Mother Claire that she received from the Lord Jesus Christ himself and from Mother Mary. The Lord Jesus has been very, very adamant about telling us that uh, denying ourselves and giving all of our lives to him is the only way that he can form us and use us for these last days. And guys, I have to confess, I am the worst of all because I am the most selfish, self-centered, and lazy servant that the Lord has picked for this job. Nevertheless, I want to change and I want to, and I say to the Lord that I am willing to be made willing. And guys, that's all the Lord wants to hear and he'll take it from there. There is a uh, there is a rhema that I got um, <clears throat> earlier today about a soul who was very, very dirty. Um, this person considered that soul very, very dirty, so dirty that they could write their names on them with a wet Q-tip. And the Lord changed that soul who was dirty and converted their hearts to where there was pure and clean and sparkling white. And then Jesus asked them, who did you once say, you know, who was so dirty that you could write on them with a wet Q-tip? If I can change that soul who wasn't willing, what can I do with you who are willing? And so guys, I have to say, I am trusting in his mercy because I am nothing. And so um, the Lord has told us over and over and over again by frequent messages that self-will is very, very poisonous to the spiritual life. When you come to serve the Lord, you must give him everything. And this takes a great deal of humility and recognizing that you do not have the best um, idea or goals that you want to do with your life. And it is written in the scriptures that a man plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. And so it also says in the scriptures that we ought to trust in the Lord with all of our hearts and lean not to our own understanding. And again, Jesus says in the Gospels, whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever does not deny himself and take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. So guys, over and over and over again, the Lord Jesus references the total self-surrender, total submission to his will, to the will of the Father. Even as he says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Even when um, the disciples came to bring him food, Jesus says, I don't need any food. My food is to obey the will of the Father who sent me and to finish the work that he gave me to do. So it's over and over and over again pointed out in the scriptures that the Lord demands total surrender um, of our lives and our hearts to him and trusting that he knows what is best. And this takes a lot of humility and I can tell you guys that Mary is the best advocate for you if you are looking to surrender your whole life to the Lord because she was a perfect example of submission, humility, and poverty of spirit. She didn't trust in her own life or her own plans. She didn't consider herself more worthy than others or that she um, had any goals. She completely entrusted her life to the Lord and the Lord was able to do wonders with her. Not only birth the Son of God through her, but also make her a vessel to whom all believers can come and they will find the Lord Jesus. And also she, um, she is now the queen of heaven and earth interceding for us. Guys, the saints in heaven can intercede for us because they have given their lives totally to the Lord. And now they are in heaven, not to just watch us, but to help intercede for us, to do the same thing. And they are here rooting for us. 
to help us on our journey to total surrender to the Lord Jesus Christ and doing His will for us until the day that we are welcomed home to be with the Lord and our brothers and sisters forever, for all eternity. But Mary is the perfect example of that. Even as you read in the scriptures with an open mind, when the angel Gabriel came to her to announce to her that she would bear Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and that she would be the mother of God, she faithfully submitted to God's will without any resistance or any um, hesitation at all. She didn't doubt what the, what the angel told her about Elizabeth's pregnancy, even though she was barren for a long time. She didn't doubt at all. She had complete faith in God, and she surrendered and submitted herself totally to His will in humility. That is why humility is the ground and the foundation of all spiritual life, because it, is, it produces submission, produces love, obedience, patience, and all of the other virtues that come from the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our lives. And so I would like to share with you the message that the Lord Jesus and Mother Mary gave to Mother Claire to share with you guys, so that you too will also know that the Lord sur desires total surrender of your lives as well. And not only you guys, but me as well. And so let me begin. Jesus began. Claire, our hearts are so united. Jesus and Mary's hearts. Our hearts are so united, her, her thoughts are one and the same with mine. Even as you and I are connected, you can imagine that she is even more connected with me. In fact, all of, of all living, her connection is the most perfected. It comes from a complete relinquishing of self. True is the statement that if you lose your life for my sake, you will surely find it. Very few recognize the act of power they are doing when they give their lives to me with no strings attached. The disease of this world is self-will. It comes from a lack of faith in me and a desire to keep what should be shared and given up, namely your lives. Some souls have strongholds of self-sufficiency, self-will, and pride. They are convinced that they know what is best and will not yield their lives to me. They hold on tightly and will not let go. I cannot use them. They are bound to a mediocre life drifting around account according to their own desire. My children under instruction, I can only use those of you who totally abandon yourselves to my perfect will. Then I can do wonders with you. Look at what I have used Claire to do in your lives. She is a perfect example of someone who wandered around in self-will for 40 years. She was indeed a Christian before that, but had not yielded her life to my plans. So for 40 years, she led, she led rather a lackluster life, always wanting to be used, but never fully yielded. My heart goes out to you who are holding on for dear life to your own will. It takes a tremendous amount of grace and poverty of spirit to be able to admit God I have made a mess of my life. I am tired of myself. I give it all to you. Do with me as you please. I am over myself. In your lives, I bring many breakings and some triumphs until you finally understand that without me you can do nothing of enduring worth. Indeed, unless the seed falls to the ground, it will not bear any fruit. But if you do yield your, yield your life up, then I can multiply your victories and fruit, some 20%, some 50%, some 100%, which is a dignity that belongs only to my mother. She was chosen as the golden vessel to bring me forth into this world. She knows well the attitude of heart that is necessary. 
She has mothered many souls, whether they are aware of it or not. The words written in scripture, do whatever he tells you, describe her perfectly. That is why I have entrusted the church into her hands. She will always say, do whatever he tells you. She has been bringing up many saints for 2,000 years and will continue to do so throughout eternity. Blessed are the humble ones who see her in the sequence of events in my life. Without Mary, you would, ha you would not have me. She brought me forth and received me back at the foot of the cross. Her mission is successful and completed. I would like you to see her as the window of heaven through which I incarnated. And in that same sense, I would like you to see her as that intercessor in heaven who most closely has my ear. When she brings me a cause, I know she has vetted it thoroughly, and she knows I will approve, and she knows I will approve or she will not ask. How wonderful it is to have a mother who operates in the highest possible spirituality in confirming, conforming her will to mine. You who call her a goddess are in grievous error. She is a created vessel of grace completely committed to my will forever. What burns in her heart burns in my heart. For everything she thinks or does is done only within the complete conformity of my will. She is a perfect example for you till the very end of her life and now in heaven. Only a foolish soul would adhere to their own will and go their own way with such a model and intercessor available to them. That is why Satan has turned a large part of the body against her. He hates her with a passion, and you will never be unfortunate enough to experience this hatred he has for her. And that is the end of his message. Blessed and most dear family, I hope this helps you a lot. And I hope this all encourages you who have doubts about Mother Mary to never fear of asking her for your intercession. Asking her for her intercession for you because she knows completely the will of God for you since, since she is one with the Holy Spirit. She's not a goddess. She's not worshipped. She's not anything of that nature. Not an idol or anything, but totally venerated as the mother of God who was chosen by the Father to bring his son Jesus into the world because of her tremendous purity, humility, and obedience. She doesn't honor herself or consider herself as the glorious um, being that we all think, but she is fully humble because she knows that she is only a mere creature, but God has exalted her high in heaven as, the, as a queen because of her great and profound humility. And if you know Satan, you know he hates humility. He cannot stand a soul who acts in humility because of his vomitable and vile pride. His pride is so great that he cannot stand anyone, not only a mere woman, but anyone who acts in humility. And that is why he hates Mother Mary so much because of her tremendous purity. And he can't stand the fact that a woman would crush his head and ultimately defeat him, that God would use a little poor village girl from nowhere, a nobody with, who humbles herself to defeat him. He cannot stand that. His pride trembles at it. So he has done, he has done great evil in a church and he's gone to great lengths to discourage all souls who have come to know our Lord from coming to our mother. For indeed, Jesus has given her as the mother of the church, the mother of the bride, because she knows Jesus. She raised Jesus. She taught Jesus. He was fully human, guys. The Lord does love us, and what son will not love his mother? So I ask you guys to please pray. Ask the Lord to help you to put, along, put away all of the fears and opinions of men that have been taught in the church against Mother Mary. 
all of these lies and all of these um, deceptions that Satan has used to draw your hearts away from our most tender and most loving mother. Ask Jesus to help you remove those lies and opinions of men. Ask Jesus to help you to see the truth of the gospel and Mother Mary in the life of Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. May the Lord bless you, dear heart dwellers. I love you all so dearly, and may the Lord be with you. God bless you all, dear family. Amen.